Now, as we were studying about physical properties of metal and non-metal, there is one again, once again, a property that is called lustrous property. What is luster? Chamak. जब किसी भी वायर को आप काटते हो या मेटल के काटते हो तो उसका काटते समय उसका कटा हुआ एंड को देखते हो तो आपको एक शाइनी दिखता है तो दो शाइनी लुक किसका है मेटल का है नॉन मेटल को आप काटोगे कार्बन को काटोगे तो आपको शाइनी लुक नहीं दिखेगा सो द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल टू बी शाइनी इट इज कॉल्ड लस्टरस प्रॉपर्टी सो लस्टर The material 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 has luster, so a material having luster has the lustrous property. So metal and non-metal uh, metals are lustrous, whereas non-metals are not lustrous; they are dull in look. Next property is hardness. On the basis of hardness also, we can identify metals and non-metal. Generally, iron, aluminium, gold, and silver they are harder material. As compared to non-metal, so on the basis of hardness of property, we can say metals are hard material and non-material are generally soft material. Now I am using again generally, generally I am saying why generally because we have to gather more and more number of properties to make it sure whether it is metal or non-metal. There may be some exceptions. Some of the harder hardest material. Maybe non-metal. We are saying metal as hard material, but carbon, diamond is a form of carbon, which is the hardest material known to be present in uh, on the earth. So we have to know many more properties, and on the basis of these all these properties, we categorize whether a material is metal or non-metal. But to make it certain whether a material is metal or non metal we are not only considering physical properties we are also going for chemical properties so on the basis of physical and chemical properties we are categorizing it is as a metal or non metal so in the next period we will be studying chemical properties now in this i have written metalloid this is a metalloid is a group of element which has the properties of metals as well as non metal means in between metal and non metal metalloids are there they are they may not be very very good conductor they may may not be very very harder so intermediate properties are how to be present in some material they are called metalloids for example silicon and germanium they are widely used as semiconductors and these are the material now always we, we we say silicon valley silicon is the material we are using to make computer components thank you